so got my package finally from she in i'm gonna open it up all right i don't have time to try on anything right now but i'm gonna open it up and make sure i have everything and then possibly tomorrow try everything on because i know i'm not gonna have time to do it today Okay, everything is accounted for. We have to back to the box. I have to go pick up my daughter from school, so I will have to go from this another time, but I'll be back to show you guys everything. All right, so I am back. I have hair and makeup done today. Well, I just, I straightened my hair and put it up. Um, but I actually did some makeup today. I love it, it looks really cute. There will be a tutorial on my TikTok if you wanna know how I do my makeup. Uh, I do wanna go ahead and say that I am still recovering from some sort of throat infection. It doesn't have a name, but I still haven't fully got my voice back. So I probably won't be doing too much talking because it's kinda hard to hear. But I am gonna go ahead and open up this order that I got from Shein and I'm so excited because I don't know if it was if it's just me, but like every time I get sick, the only thing that makes me feel better is shopping. So that's what I did while I was sick this entire time. And I ordered a bunch of stuff from Shein. So I am going to open up everything and try everything on. Hopefully everything fits. Lately I've been wanting to revamp my wardrobe because everything I have is pretty much outdated. Like I have grown a lot and I'm, I feel like I'm a different person than I was two, three years ago, which is basically when I bought all of my clothes. And my style has changed a lot. I definitely prefer neutrals, as you can tell. I don't really like color too much. I have a lot of pink and black. I don't really like wearing pink and black anymore. Like, I'm a grown woman now, okay? I'm a mother, two kids, fiance, like it's a different vibe. So, I went on shake, she in shine i went on she in to find some clothes that were better fitted to my style and i will say that it was not easy because we all know she in is like very fast fashion and they don't really put out classic elegant pieces they just i don't know i feel like they just throw a lot of shit together and put it on the website and yeah that's not really good for building a an everyday wardrobe, a staple wardrobe. But whatever, I managed to find some things that I feel like I can wear every day. Just, you know, throw on and go and still look amazing. So, anyway, before I, why are you messing with her? Where did you even get that from? My son is over here messing in my makeup. Anyway, before I start unboxing stuff and get into what I ordered, Please, if you haven't, subscribe to my channel because I will be making a lot more videos. I promise to me, not you. And yeah, and if you like this video, obviously like it. Um, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below at the end what you think is your favorite piece. And I am going to try to list everything. We'll create like a board. Now you can do that on Shein. And list everything that I ordered in the description box just in case. You like what you saw or you want to get it for yourself um if you have questions comments concerns of course you know you can hit me up comments check out my instagram tiktok i'm everywhere but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get into track on these clothes 
Anyway, so I got a few pants that I thought would accentuate my legs. And these. And I believe I got them in a large. I do like these pants a lot. They're very comfortable. And I can move. My butt looks good. So these I'm definitely keeping. Here it is. I believe this is like not a scarf that I got. Another scarf. Same scarf. But yeah. Okay, these are the other pants that I got. It is winter and I love sweatpants. But they're not very flattering, so I, I thought I'd try some that would look a little bit more flattering. I love the texture of these, that quilted pattern. They're cargo style, they have pockets on the knees, and they're tied around the angles. So I definitely love these pants. Yeah, so I definitely love these pants. They fit very well. I think they complement my figure. All right, so I also got some cute pajamas because I am in the house all day. Well, I guess I should say pajamas. They're basically gonna be loungewear because I am a stay-at-home mom, but I'm pretty much at home all day. But I don't want to look. I don't want to like a bum while I'm here. So I got some cute loungewear that I have around the house. So yeah, that's that. All right. So I found some bodysuits. Are these the bodysuits? There was something that they had a set of three of in neutrals, and I was like, yeah, I gotta get that. Yes, these are the bodysuits. So they are tank, campy bodysuits. And they have the button snap underneath with the V cut out. I'm not sure what size I got. This does look a little big, so I'm gonna try it on and hopefully it fits. So I think this fits well. Um, it could be a little smaller, a little tighter. Um, I feel like it will look best with some shapewear underneath. This is probably how I'll wear it. Right now I'm not wearing anything. I just put it on. My boobs aren't even sitting up like they should. But yeah, it's good if I have it. They came in five colors. One, two, three, four, four. It came in four different colors. So that was that. Okay, this is another set. I um, got these two satin chemis. Again, loving the neutral colors. This one is like champagne, and this one is brown. Um, I love this kind of top. I also have this top in like a burnt orange. It's so cute. I'm not gonna try these on because I'm pretty sure, actually, no, I need to try it on just in case. Cause with she in, you just never know. Give me a second. It just like put together. And I feel like bodysuits keep your clothes, your shirts from like looking. I don't, I don't, you know what I mean, just like not put together. Excuse me. Okay, so this is this one. I love where the sleeves are cut off on this shirt. I don't know if it's because it's small. Well, I don't think I have it in the size small. I'm pretty sure this is in a size medium. 
but it's kind of hard for me to bite and by myself. Could be my nails, I don't know what it is, but I couldn't get the buttons on, it was too much. Seems like a two person job, so I guess if I wear this, I'll just have to ask my man for his help because I can't do it by myself. But I do love this top, it's like really smooth. The sleeves are exactly where they need to be. The collar is not too loose or too tight. Love it. I am actually very impressed so far that I am not taking out anything that I dislike. Okay, so this is another bodysuit, but it has a... You good? This is another bodysuit, but it has a mid-arm. Link. I don't know what you call this, but it comes off like right here. Sleeves that stuff right here and we're fine on my shoulders. So that's why I got this. It's in white. So I'm not gonna try this on right now because I have on a full face of makeup and I don't want to get it dirty. I'm just going to assume and hope that it that it fits and it looks amazing. More pants. Yay. And as you can see, like I'm loving the brown. Like the brown brown is my thing. Brown and the new ones. So these are some more joggers. These are <coughs> excuse me. These are kind of that linen material, so they're like loose fitted and more like breathing, you know? Like not so tight. Um, excuse me. Excuse me. A little snug, they could be bigger, not gonna lie, but I mean, we're here. Oh, this is the back of the bodysuit. We're here, they're okay. They could be looser. I'm pretty sure I got these at a size large, but they just feel a little bit tight. I'm not complaining. They still look good, even though they're a little tight. It is what it is. So I think, those are all the clothes that I got. Oh, these are bonnets. So I can look bougie when I sleep. Don't come for me. This is, this is a vibe, this is a lifestyle. I'm trying to be that girl. So I got some cuter bonnets, cause mine look raggedy. Now, what I really wanted to see were the shoes. I was very skeptical about wearing shoes, like buying shoes from Shein because of Shein. But I saw some boots, I thought it was just too cute to pass up for. I love the sock boot. I have been loving the sock boot for two years now, and I've been wanting to find a sock boot that works for me. And I think these are perfect. For the perfect everyday sock boot. As you can see, it already goes with the whole outfit that I got on. And I just threw this on. So this is what I mean by like buying new truths that I can just throw on and look good every day. Anyway, I want to try this bad boy on. I hope it does not hurt my feet. Baby, this shoe, Kayla. This shoe. Mommy's gonna be wearing this shoe every day. Look at this shoe. Do you see the shoe? Anyway, I love this shoe. If you couldn't tell, I want to put the other one on. And I'm not wearing socks with it, and there's still a bunch of room in the front. I have big feet. Most people don't know this. I wear like a nine, nine and a half. So finding shoes that fit and are comfortable is like so rare. Yo. I am obsessed with this shoe. Hold on, I have to go look at my nails. Very similar to these. 
Okay, or whatever, maybe. Now these have a different heel on them and they are in black. Again, it is a sock boot. I love the sock boot style. It has a square toe and it has a skinnier heel, but it's got this little fat bottom. So hopefully they are just as comfy. And again, I got it in a size nine. I hope it does not disappoint. This is this shoe. It's not bad. It's definitely not as comfortable as the other. I think it may be better with some socks. But it's definitely... It's definitely worth keeping. Okay, so these are not horrible. Actually, let me not even, let me not even. They're okay. They're definitely not everyday shoes because the heel is definitely higher and it's hurting the heel <laughs> out of my shins, not my shins, my calves. I don't work out anymore. And this is a workout to walk in. It's like really flexing the hell out of my calves. So that'd be like a special occasion shoe. Not an everyday boot. <laughs> Unless you're that girl and you got those calves. But I ain't got those caps right now, so this is not an everyday book. Alright, so the other things I got are like life accessories. So I just got some like life accessory stuff I needed. These are powder puffs. These are ideal for setting your makeup. And I threw mine away because I didn't realize how important they were. So I got some more from Sheet and they're really cheap. I hate packaging the bodies and go. This is my watch. I got an everyday watch because having a fine piece is essential if you want to look elegant. Because it's not. I don't know, it just screams low class if when you pull out your phone when somebody asks you what time it is. Like, no, just look at your watch. So I got a watch. And it's neutral. Yeah, it doesn't have any numbers on it. I couldn't find any good neutral watches on Chic and that had numbers. So I'm just gonna have to learn how to tell time like this. But I got an everyday watch. I got this really cute motivational phone case for my phone. I didn't need it, but I saw it, I read it, and I was like, that's for me. I need that reminder. It says, note to self. What's up? It says, note to self. You gotta do this for you. This is for you. This ain't about anybody. Live for you. Honor you. Never lose sight of that. So I got that as my personal reminder. Nothing fancy. It's pretty simple. I saw they had this um, tripod for a dollar. A dollar, bitch. And my last tripod had broke. I bought this one that I'm using now on Amazon just because I could I didn't want to wait that long. But this tripod, it was only just a dollar. It's a little table tripod. Comes with the phone case, obviously. You put your phone in this one. But if you have a camera like I do, I have a cannon. Um, you can just screw the cannon onto this piece. It's also flexible, so you can like hook it on the stuff if you need to or whatever. It was only a dollar. A dollar. They're like ten. These are like ten dollars on Amazon. I checked, which is crazy. Uh, I got this cute choker necklace. Now it was cute in the picture, but it looks very trashy and cheap in person. It's heavy though, but it does look trashy and cheap. Um, no, wait, no. This is a brace. This is a brace. No, this is a necklace. I think this is a necklace. Yeah. Um. Um. What are you doing? I'm thinking. Yeah, I don't know what I'm we just gonna 
I don't know, maybe I gotta give it to my daughter. It looks like cost of jewelry, and that's not cute or elegant. I don't, I don't know what I was thinking. I got this because I broke the. <laughs> I can't turn it. So much fun over your camera, my sis. But I broke the phone. I broke the phone mount um, for my car, and I didn't really want to buy a new phone mount because I don't really like them. I feel like they don't last long anyway, no matter which kind you get. So I got this, um, supposed to be like a non-slick thing for your dashboard. You just lay it on the dashboard, you can set whatever on there, keeps it from sliding. Um, they should have took this off because not everybody speaks Japanese. Let's see. This goes here, holds your phone, something like that. Whatever, y'all don't care about it. That's for me. So, the last thing I wanted to show, because this was a big risk, at least for me, I ordered a wig from Shein. Now, I decided to be safe and get a bob wig. This is a 14 inch middle part. I don't remember if it was a lace front, but it's a bob wig. Straight, comes in this box. Nothing special. Came in this little package. Nothing special. Uh, I'm not gonna put it on now because I ain't got time for that. I may install it before Thanksgiving. But I am gonna show y'all what it look like straight out the package. Okay, it has combs. So it is a glueless wig, which is what I was looking for. Like something I could just throw on. It has combs on the sides and in the back. Also has an adjustable strap. This hair is pretty soft. I can definitely tell the hair is not like amazing because it's got too many different colors. But I mean, it's soft. I'm probably gonna dye this jet black because that's how I like for my hair to look. I don't really, I don't really think I look good. Well, in my opinion, I don't think I look too good with brown hair. I prefer jet black, so. I may dye this wig jet black. This is what the part looks like. Ain't did nothing to it, straight out the box. Um, it's not like a full closure or anything. There is lace around the temple, as you can see, and then there's lace around the part. That's it, so you can't part it any other way. It's just straight down the middle. I'm not gonna measure it. I'm gonna assume this is 14 inches. Goes to like my armpit. So yeah. Yes. What would you like to say to the people? You were interrupting me. Is there something you wanted to say? Okay, okay. Okay, so yeah, that was everything that I ordered. Hold on. There we go. Make sure my face is really in here. Alright, so that was everything that I ordered from Shein. I must say that I'm actually pretty satisfied with my order this time. Usually there's something that I like I don't want to keep. But like I literally loved everything this time. But I think it's because I took my time really picking stuff out that was for me. And not just not just ordering stuff because they look pretty. You know? Because that, that's what I usually do when I shop, which is not good. It's not good. For the long run, anyway. So, again, I'm very satisfied with my order. And I will try to link everything that I purchased somehow, some way in the description box. Just so y'all aren't asking me, where can I find this? Da -da -da -da. I don't, I don't want to deal with that. I will try to link everything below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. And subscribe if you like my content. Anyway, I gotta go because I have a lot of stuff to clean up now because somebody was over here making a mess while I was filming this video and now he wants to be all up in my space. So anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, that's it. Okay, bye.